Many people have asked me what I did in, in Africa. And I realized that just saying it probably will not make any difference. So what I want to do today is I want to create this video and share with you what I did in Africa. Now what is interesting is if I analyze what happened last month, I realized that I didn't do much. In reality, my work was fixing computers, a good majority of the part. And the reason why I was fixing computers is because that was needed. And to be honest with you, I had an issue with that at the beginning because I went with the intention of being with the people or doing something. And <laughs> it wasn't like that, fixing computers behind a desk. I did not expect that. But in the re reflection process that I did, I realized that that is what God was asking from me and that is what I needed it to do and that is what I did. And to be honest, I'm humble. I'm humbled by the fact that something so simple like fixing computers in my case, it made a difference. One of the things that I will love the most in Africa was when they, give me, when they gave me the chance to go and, uh, and accompany Bishop. And I think that is something that really moved my heart because you will go to these villages where there is nothing, there is nothing over there. And then you will have the opportunity just to, to be there with the people. And what is amazing is the, the, the energy and the love that they put into the, the liturgy. They sing and they go around and they are so happy about it. that we have so many things and yet we are not happy and then I realized that happiness has nothing to do with how many things do you have or how much things do you have but happiness have to do with your own attitude with your own way of seeing things three things I have learned in this trip the first thing is being able to be happy with everything that you have the second thing is being able to, to share who God is with people who do not have anything or people who have everything. I mean, if we work in a company or we do something different, I mean, we have the chance to share who God is. And number three is not everybody is called to be a missionary. Not everybody is called to go to the missions and go to Africa and things like that. But everybody is called to share who Christ is. How can you become a better human being? And I think that is my challenge. How can I become a, something, someone a little bit more insightful, someone a little bit more balanced in my own life? I think we have uh, three different type of things that you can balance in your life, which is the spiritual, the intellectual, and the physical. And the question is to myself is what I'm doing to do that. I want to be the best person that I can be. I'm not just for me but I want to be the best person that I can be for the people who do not have much, for the young people who, who need someone to, 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 to guide them. And I think that is what we are called to be, to make a difference in this world. Mm -hmm.